Hello guys, this is Freya here. It's a beautiful day and I just had a cool idea about an analogy of how we are dealing uh, with our beliefs. So our life is basically uh, a pile of stuff that we believe. And we can see what we believe in how our life is turning out. So uh, what we do, I had a really, yeah, I had a really good idea about this analogy, which is basically beliefs that, I mean, if we have beliefs that make us feel good, great. You know, we entertain them, uh, we entertain them and they form our life. But there are also a lot of beliefs that are not so good. Yeah, there are beliefs that something can be there one moment and something and it can be gone the, the other the other moment, which is a belief in loss. And there's also um beliefs that um are based on the fear of uh something being not there in the first place, which is the belief in lack. So everything is basically based on two basic beliefs and there's like a million variations of these so what do we do when we have beliefs that don't make us feel good we put them up into our attic and you can really you know it's really like that that's what we do we don't get rid of stuff you know it's like oh you know uh, this lab I don't like it uh, you know, doesn't fit into my environment anymore, I put it up in the attic. We've all done that. Or this one, uh, this book, I don't read it anymore, I'll put it up in the attic. Which is, why are we not getting rid of stuff? You know, if we're already looking at it and we have it in our hand and we don't want it anymore, why not get rid of it? No, we put it up in the attic. And basically, our lives are like attics. <laughs> all this crap there, all these things that don't serve us anymore. But instead of getting rid of it, we just put them up there because we have this belief that we might use them again at some point, which we never do. I mean, you know, if you talk to someone who has, you know, a storage space business, there are so many storage units there that people never visit again. They just put all that crap in there and then vanish. Because after a while, you don't even know what's in there anymore. But you know the attic or the storage is still there. So you feel bad and you know that you have to face it at some point. And most, you know, a lot of people don't. They don't. Because it's too scary to face that all that crap. And it piles up. And instead of clearing it up, no, we put more crap on top. So, guys. Clear up your attics, look what's in there, and get rid of it. You don't use it anymore. You don't need it anymore. Stop piling up stuff. Yes, and the sun is really shining. <laughs> but that's a good thing, right? So, assess what's up in your attic. You know, check out your beliefs. Check out what you believe, and then see if you can reference it against, is it a belief that I'm lacking something? Or is it a belief that I might lose something? And then look at it. Look at it closely. It's fine. You know, it's not so scary as you think. And then get rid of it. You're going to feel so much lighter. And I think tonight I'm actually going to um, post a video that I had an idea with. Um, and a friend of mine edited it for me. It's about getting rid of layers. And this is what it's all about. To feel free, you need to get rid of stuff to edit. And I think now is the time. You know, it's now or never. So, there's going to be more videos coming up here. Um, me musing about beliefs. I think I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be mentioning beliefs a lot, a lot, because it's so important. So, guys. Have a nice day, you know, enjoy the sunshine if you have any, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.